Right. All right, I'm here with, uh, I was saying Dagny, but it's Cagney from Cagney and Lacey, or you know, the old movie Cagney. Uh, Cagney is reactive sometimes to people that she doesn't know. I think she thinks she's a guard dog. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do what I like to call click for look, which is using a clicker to indicate that the dog did something that you wanted. Now, um, basically, uh, we're using a leash here. You don't have to use a leash, but if you're worried about your dog being, uh, if your dog is reactive and it might run and bite somebody, having a leash or something to make sure everybody stays safe can help you feel confident, and your dog can feel if you feel confident. So that's important. I don't think she's gonna do any of those things to me, because um, I've been giving her a copious amount of treats already, but uh, just for future reference. So, all right, so what we're gonna do is, uh, the Guardian has a clicker, and uh, a, a, a treat pouch full of all sorts of amazing treats that she, we know she likes. Now, before you do this, you want to prime the clicker, which is throwing a treat on the ground, clicking it every time your dog licks uh, up the treat. And that creates an association. The clickers indicate the exact second that you did what I wanted you to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of scooch back a little bit, and I have the guardian. He's going to walk her here and then come back, and then kind of kind of hang out there. And what, once you, and let me finish it and then you'll, I'll help you do it. What I'm going to have him do is he's going to watch with his hand on the clicker and have your, he has his pouch open so he's ready to go. And you probably might want to have like a, I would probably put your, uh, the hand, uh, the, the, uh, the leash hand, put the, your hand through the leash and hold the clicker with it so you have everything in one hand and you can have that hand a little bit free. And that's okay if she wants to move, I'm not worried about her doing anything. Hey, sit. Like sit. Very good. So you just want to have, uh, I just find that having your hand through the loop and the clicker in that same hand, uh, just the dexterity is a little bit better. All right, so what we're going to do now, and I uh, have the clicker in that hand, and don't worry about uh, hold, that, that length of leash is fine. So what we're going to do is every time that she looks at me, he's going to click, and then he's going to say the word friendly as he pops a treat in her mouth. So uh, now you're going to have to watch. So this is perfect. So be ready. And as soon as she looks at me, click right there, just once, and then give her the treat and say friendly. Friendly. And just watch, and you're just going to click once, but just, and just have a treat in your hand, and just hold it to the side, and just wait. So she doesn't get one for anything but looking in my direction. Now she's looking at you, so don't keep eye contact with her. See her, they're right there. Friendly. Now say friendly. So we're gonna click for looking at me, and then we're gonna give her the treat and then say friendly afterwards. We assign a commander, so later on, if she start staring at somebody, say friendly, she kind of knows what you want. All right, so, and if you keep eye contact with her, she'll just right there, click. Friendly. Uh, so now say friendly. That's all right. Friendly. This is why we practice. It takes a little bit of time. <laughs> uh, so just have another one. Sorry, so. It is. Uh, it's, it'll be simple once you practice it a while. I do this all the time. So she can move around. She can do whatever she wants. Obviously, she can't bite the you know, target. But just watch her eyes. And I'm going to keep on talking, which makes it a little bit more for her to be right there. Friendly. And what you're going to see is she's going to start looking at me more and more frequently. And then turning away and looking at you more frequently because that gets her the reward. Uh, so when you're doing this, you can do this on walks. I do this a lot of times when dogs are dog aggressive. I go to a dog park area. Oh, right there. Friendly. Uh, Sorry. There. Friendly. You're going to get it. Um, so what we're just telling the dog, just looking at another dog or a human gets you a reward. The person's not trying to pet you or interact with you. Friendly. Perfect. And so after a while, the dog just feels comfortable. If every time I look at something, $100 bills fall from the sky. Friendly. I'm going to be like, I'm going to look at that thing all day long. And I'm going to feel pretty good about looking at that thing because really good, positive things are happening. Now, my you, friendly. when I do this, I want to make sure, I usually like to ask the dog to sit. And it's okay if it doesn't sit. But I do a technique called counter conditioning. And just keep on doing that uh, and just wait for her to look. Um, and don't hold your hand out or anything. Just kind of be ready and don't look like you're waiting for her to do it. You want to act like you're, like, act like you're, there's, like, some other hot dude around you. Sit. Check out the hot dog, be with that, you know it. So you kind of watch very serendipitously. And so basically, you're making up other words. And so basically, as soon as the dog does what you want, you click and then give the dog a treat. Now, for me, if I, a lot of times I like to have the dog sitting because the dog, if it sits and yeah. takes a treat, and I wouldn't do that for this exercise. So that's only, I love where you're going, but during this exercise, the only thing that's going to get you to treat is looking at the human. So what I do is you want to get the dog as close to the person as you possibly can without the dog reacting. Once the dog reacts, it's hysterical. It's not going to learn anything. So let's say it's 25 paces. So we practice it at 25 paces until the dog's pretty much looking at the person over and over again and not showing any signs of tension really? or anything along those lines. Then you would have come one step closer. So instead of being 25 paces, you're at 24 paces. And you put the dog in a sit, and as soon as the dog looks, you keep on doing this. 
Eventually, you'll get to the point and take a half step backwards if you could. We're going to have good camera presence. This is a TV household. You should know this. <laughs> um, but basically, what we want to do is get the dog closer and closer. But now, what I'm doing, I'm not trying to pet the dog. I'm not looking at the dog. I'm not enticing. I'm not offering. Friendly. So these are just positive things. So just looking at the guest gets me a reward. And because we're far enough away, the dog doesn't perceive it to be a threat, so it's not reacting. And now, essentially, as weird as it sounds, the dog is practicing being around and looking at people without doing so in an aggressive way. Friendly. Perfect. All right, so this is one of the first things that I, that I like to do. Um, and this is something you, want to, uh, you can do when you have people in your house, because this is really the only place that she is like really? this is in the house. Now, you can do this outside. You guys have an outdoor area. And once you get inside, as we came in, she was a little bit reactive to me at certain Certainly. times. She wasn't reactive, but she was showing me she wasn't super comfortable. And the further inside the house we got, the more pronounced that was. So this is something you might want to do outside uh, before uh, you actually come inside. And so you're just hanging out. Really? It's a beautiful day. Just sit outside, have some cocktails, some, uh, I don't know, what, mint juleps or, I don't know. I'm trying to think what are those things they have for Kentucky Derby. Uh, anyway, it's a really tasty cocktail. So basically, really? you just have something outside, and you're nice and relaxed, and just all she has to do is look at the guests, and gradually gets closer and closer and closer. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to, uh, if I can have this, thank you, and we're going to go ahead and detach the leash, and, uh, and I'm just going to show you the next steps that I do off the web inside. We're going to keep on rolling. So go ahead, and if you want to step back over there, you're coming over here to me. So she's walked away, and she didn't have to see her on the camera, so what I'm going to do is Throw a treat there. All I want her to do for this is approach the person and get a treat and then be able to walk away. Now, we've been, I've been doing this a little bit in the house, so she's pretty comfortable. Now, she's not doing the lean, but before she was leaning over with her leg. Sit, or I guess come. Um, and the person doesn't have to sign any command words. Now, I'm she's a lot more comfortable with me, so she's here. But normally what she's going to be, she's going to be on the far side of the room. The person's just gonna pull out a treat every once in a while, wait for her to go away like that, perfect. And throw a treat halfway distance. When she comes there, throw another halfway distance. And eventually just right there. And eventually just right there. Now this is really a, a, a condensed version. This is like, think of an edited montage together. This is gonna take you longer to do. Um, and so, and the important thing is the guest is not gonna to try to pet the dog, look at the dog, or talk to the dog. We're making treats available if the dog approaches us and eventually approaches closer and closer and then eventually takes the treat off of their leg or you can do their feet. But she gets to do it on her own volition. We're not asking her to do it. We're not forcing her to do it. When she does it on her own, she gets good things happen to her. And this is what you'd like to see her doing. Sniffing, a little licking. This is how dogs should meet is through scent, not through sight. But that's typically what happens, especially in your house, because they have great windows, great views. She sees them coming, and she's reacting at them as they're walking towards the door. Um, and so for her, she thinks she's a guard dog. Notice where her tail's at? Her tail right now is parallel with her spine, and that's what you're looking for. Tail up is assertive, commanding, confident, could be aggressive, does not mean aggressive, but it's in that family. Tail down, uh, where it's covering the anus, is insecure, also a dangerous situation. What you'd like to see is really, hers isn't going to be flat out. Hers is going to be down a little bit at an angle, which is about a 45 degree angle coming down off of her spine. And that's what you'd like to see. So this is when you have guests come over, have them come over and just to give them one of these things full of treats. And they just throw the treat. And if I throw it, let's say she's 15 feet away and I throw it seven feet and she won't come, then I would throw it halfway distance between the dog and the treat. Eventually, I'd like to throw it halfway distance between the, dog, uh, the treat and me to get her to, the whole idea is to get her coming closer and closer. Now, uh, another great thing that you can do is teaching your dog how to catch. I'm not gonna show you how to do it in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to do it in this video. So a lot of times when we throw a, dog, a treat for a dog, we go like this, one, two, and see how she was looking on the floor, and by the time we throw it, it hits him on the head. Just like that. So basically, what you wanna do is you wanna throw it, and I would have somebody next to her. So if you were next to her, if I throw the treat, and you guys are going to do this yourselves. So you throw the treat, and it hits her head, and she falls down. You pick it up and give it back to the person who's throwing. The only way I get it is by snatching it out of the air. Eventually, she'll start trying. When you do it, don't do the three windups. Just do one and try to make it such a good throw. All she has to do is open her mouth, and it goes in her mouth. Eventually, she'll develop what I call eye-mouth coordination. And eventually, 
Then you can start throwing treats and she catches them. Once she's achieved that, when you have guests come over, the first stage I would do is click for looks outs. Well, I would do it actually in a four part stage. So I think I'll have the first video of where I left the treat, trail of treats. So when you have a new guest come over, have it right and go through your phone, find people that are friends that can help you with this. You just haven't seen for a while. Have them watch that first video or just explain the first video I found out I haven't posted. Have, leave, leave a trail of treats and have them sitting probably maybe not next to the trash can like I was so you don't have a million flies. Then she comes up and gets all these treats as she's approaching the person. Now, it'd be nice after that if you walked maybe five or six houses up, then turn around and came back and came back to your house. Dogs process things by literally moving forward together. So getting her to walk with your guest after she met your guest, after she got a trail of treats, really sets her up for success. Now, once you come inside, I want you to remember, once you enter, once you pass the threshold, she's gonna start being on duty. So you're gonna need to keep on giving her treats as you come through the courtyard. And I would stay outside, then I would do the click for looks that we just got done doing. So all she does is look at them and click. And she's gonna feel a lot more comfortable doing it because she just had all these treats with them. Next stage, have come inside and have the person sitting where I was and give them these and just have her th have them throw in the treats so she approaches and walks away. And if she's got like her leg is back here, that's an indication she's uncomfortable. If her tail's straight up, she's also still in that commanding position. So you want to keep doing it. You can pill, fill, uh, pan down to her if you can't see her. So that's where you'd like to see her tail. Now, if she's breathing heavy, that's a sign of stress. It can be a sign of stress. It could also mean she's hot outside, but probably more likely to hear it's a sign of stress. So we want to keep doing this until she's eventually coming all the way to them and she can take a treat out of her hand. Now, the first time you do it, I've been doing this for a while, I wouldn't do it the way I'm doing it right now, which is in front of me. Front facing is confrontational. So when you do it, you want to do it like, like this. So she's going to come and take it sideways. Now notice what I did with my hand is I left it there. So I'd have your friends watch this video. So see how she came back in a second time for a little sampling? She thought maybe I'd miss some treat, but it gives her a chance to sniff me and get to know me a little bit better. So this helps her practice. And what we want to do is get a lot of reps going back and forth and good things happening, and she goes away on her own. And then eventually when she starts lingering like this and try to avoid eye contact, there we go. The next stage would be to play a little game of catch with her once she knows how to do it. Catch allows her to engage with your guest. It's a fun game, but she does it a little bit farther away as far as she feels comfortable. So if you do this series of things, I think that she's going to warm up a lot faster and eventually start to associate when guests come, really fun things happen. Instead of thinking that there's some infidel or invader, I should actually be happy when guests come because that means I'm getting a mother load of treats. Okay. Now last stage, if you can, sit. Now see how she took a step back, sit. Um, she wanted what I call escapability, so she took a step back before she did it. We'd like to get her even closer, but once you've gone through all these stages, we'd like to have the guest ask her to sit, or how about a down? Sitting and down, like I mentioned earlier, are more subordinate positions. If she will sit or lay down for your guest, that means she's feeling a lot more comfortable and she doesn't consider them to be a threat. My legs are about to go to sleep, so we're going to end this video. This is Cagney, and these are some tips and tricks you can use to use positive reinforcement if your dog is reactive or aggressive towards guests that visit your house.